SFG Reviews. Today I'm super excited to be sharing a review on this super nice Cinderella doll from Disney Store. I'm super excited. She's super gorgeous and I can't wait to get her open. But before I get her open, I thought I'd show you the packaging. So this doll is recommended for the ages 3 and up. And as you can see, it says her name here, Cinderella. And then here at the top corner, it says Disney Store. She is super pretty, and I can't wait to take a closer look at her. And then here at the back, there's another picture of her, which is super gorgeous. And you can also see her beautiful palace. And it also says Disney Princesses. So now I'm going to get her out of the box, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that she's sort of out of packaging, I just thought I'd mention a few things. One is that she's a little different than other Disney store dolls that I've opened. For example, her hair has this little, like, um, wire in it, in, into the packaging, instead of, like, these little, I don't know what you would call them, like, these little things. I don't know how to explain them. But then she also has wire around, and as all other Disney Store dolls I've so far had, it goes in under the clothing, or like under the dress. And one thing I noticed this was a pity, is because she'd been in the box for a rather long time, it's kind of like, uh, what would you call it, wrinkled here in the back. Which I think is a pity, but I kind of straightened it out, but it still goes a little wrinkly, but... You can't exactly take it iron, so that's a little disappointing. And also, she has tissue paper in underneath this. A lot. Okay, so it's stuck around her neck. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna get the wire off. Like, let's see. So we need to open the dress, and then I guess it will go out this way. Here we go. And then I need to buckle it right up. And her dress is, it's really hard. I managed now quite well. But it, before, you, you could see that it wasn't closed properly. And I try right now to close it. And it took some effort to pull it apart. And then her hair. Oh, wait. That was quite simple. There we go. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at her. One thing I also noticed that I was surprised about is that her shoes happen to be flats. They are transparent though, so they are like glass slippers, but they are not heels. Now, the other d dolls in this collection that I have so far that came with shoes had flats too, but I still think it's a little weird because in the movie, um, the most dolls have high heels. I don't know if it's something that because most Barbie dolls have like high heels that they don't want to have that in the Disney store, but that's just something I noticed. Also, her dress is really nice. It's got these sequins and like silver glitter everywhere. And I love how the detail on these Disney store dolls that they have a little bit detail in the back too. Unlike very many other ones, just stop halfway and then have maybe really bad fabric and like a different fabric. Then she's got this little like I don't know what you call it, but it's really nice over or on the top. She's got a really nice simple top and then these really nice sheer transparent little puffs on the sleeves. She has this really nice necklace, which I believe if I take a close look. Yeah, it seems to be sewn on. It doesn't seem to have Velcro. I thought at first it might have Velcro. So if I would ever want to remove it, I'd have to cut it off or like remove her head, which I probably won't. And then she's got these studded earrings, which are super nice. And I love her face. It's really nice detail. I love the whole makeup look and everything. And then I love her little curled bangs. She's got actually brown eyebrows. And then she has this really nice hair, and the updo is not too bad actually, at least in the front, it's just in the back that it's got this little thing. And then as you can see, her hair piece is actually elastic here, and the rest is ribbon. And seemingly it's got these little clips, or what I was talking about before, but even tinier, to keep her headband on her head. And I'll probably not remove them, same reason because the necklace can anyway not be removed because it's just probably better otherwise it will probably slip off 
and leave a hole in the headband. As for all, all the rest of the details in the doll, I really like the articulation it provides. For example, that's something also I actually like about the Kingster dolls, is she's got articulation in her hands, or in her wrists, her elbows, and shoulders, head, then she also has in the leg, it's just that the dress makes it a little hard, and bend and snap knees. So that's also really nice about them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below and leave a nice comment of what you thought about Cinderella. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!